just to echo what Simon said, really, that I, I don't have a post. I didn't have a postdoc position in Oxford where I did my PhD. I think this was my first postdoc position, but I have the impression that the the general structures are fairly similar, or the postdoc structure is fairly similar to what I know from the UK. It's more like cultural differences, um, like in the ways that people work or the focuses that people have on their work that are slightly different here. Um, yeah. Okay, I think uh, I mean uh, regarding like the, the PhD postdoc is uh, we are talking normal, uh, normally on position and contracts uh, we are we are dealing with. Maybe you could explain a little bit your situation. Do you have a contract or do you receive a scholarship at the moment, Belinda? Yeah, so um, I have a contract, and um, my my initial contract was for two years to work on one specific project, um, and then this. Yeah, this project has been extended basically, so I'm on an extension of that. Um, and I um, have another three years now, and I'm, I guess, a bit in the lucky position that I'm working within the medical faculty, working with a, within a clinic where there's maybe a, a bit more money going around than there would be in some research groups in the UK, and so that my boss can help me to bridge the gap between different grants. Okay. And I wasn't like I wasn't really familiar with that as much from Oxford at least or from the UK that once your position once your funding runs out for one position that's definitely over like there's no yeah there's no bridging there's no chances for that so a bit of internal money I guess has helped me there and I, but I don't think that's necessarily typical of Germany that could just be like my specific case here at the NMU. Yeah. Okay. Simon is working at a public uh, institution, the Fraunhofer Institute, which is uh, known for applied research and contracts with uh, industry. So, Simon, what's uh, your situation? How came you to Germany? Was it a, was it a scholarship at first, or what's about uh, the contract you you received coming to Germany? So, yeah, actually, I uh, first um, I applied for an Ertzen, uh, Ertzen uh, European uh, Fellowships, yeah, and um, I selected Fraunhofer Institute, where I am now. And um, that gives, gave me a year because these uh, scholarship fellowships run for one year and gave me a year to meet the people here, see the way they work and um, get a bit of a feel about uh, the projects and um, the objectives and the interests of the people here. And after that, um, I applied and I got a full contract. So I have like a proper uh, full contract now for the next, uh, well, it, it was 40 years. Um, we have, of course, a chance to extend it if um, you do well, so there should be no problem about that. And um, yes, it's the German public uh, service uh, scale also when it comes to the benefits, um, which is very uh, easy to find online. You can see the bad TV salary scales um, for the remuneration, and um, yeah, it's pretty standard very much here. So That's maybe something, something we should add. Uh, we have a um, public uh, paid system in Germany, so there's not much place for negoti negotiations, uh, which means for the basic salary you can negotiate in your group uh, for for staff and so on, but the the payment is on a really regular level in Germany. It's the TVOD, the TVOED, uh, which you can find online where you can see what you're going to earn and as a, as a postdoc researcher, and it's mainly all over the same uh, in Germany in public institutions. Uh, in, in industry, that might be something uh, different. Um, um, as maybe the audience knows, in Germany, uh, nearly two-thirds of uh, research is done in industry, and just one-third is done in uh, publicly uh, founded research institutions, but nevertheless we are talking uh, um, over more than 1,000 institutions publicly funded, so a lot of uh, positions are available.